Hi, I'm Jay Johnson, President and CEO of WindowPurchase.com. It's an interactive learning center website I designed to help teach people about Windows and give them the right things to look for and ask. And I've also updated, uh, I've written a couple books on Windows in the past. I did a new PDF version condensed on my website, WindowPurchase.com, that's loaded with a lot of very helpful information. Please check it out. Anyway, here's the tip of the day. I get asked a lot of questions about glass. What kind of glass do I need? Well, let's put it in this perspective. If you walk throughout your home and you go into a room, I don't care what room it is, if you feel it's too hot, too cold, too noisy, or too much fading, don't look at the wall, look at the windows. Now when you look at the windows, what makes up the majority of the window? Right, the glass. 85 to 90 percent of the comfort level of that room and everything else that's going on in there is directly related to that glass. So you really have to know what you're doing when it comes to glass options. Now I will tell you that one of the, in this book, chapter one, Common Assumptions, which is seven pages long, most of my clients assume that triple pane is overkill. Well, first of all, let's get this straight. If you had triple pane glass and lived in the North Pole, it would do a better job than double pane. If you move that window physically, shipped it FedEx down to the equator, that triple pane glass would do better than double pane. You move it up somewhere like into the Chicagoland area that gets extreme temperature fluctuations, that triple pane glass is going to do a better job than double pane. So when companies come in telling you how efficient their glass is, usually all they do is a stupid heat lamp demo. Watch the video on that one. And here's the problem. Most windows that can get Energy Star rated, there's actually an Energy Star map, and I want to show that to you. So you can see the United States is broken up into different zones as far as Energy Star is concerned. You can also see this column here, like if you live in the northern zone, you should be looking for a window that's a 0.27 or lower. If it's a 0.28 or higher, then it doesn't really meet Energy Star in the northern zone. Then you have this column over here where you could see a 0.2 or lower in all regions. And what that's showing you is a high performance window is going to do just as well in a mild climate as it's going to do in an extreme climate. Then you have glass recommendations here. Now if you're lucky enough to live somewhere on the bottom between 40 and 80 degrees year round, congratulations. Um, if you live anywhere else, you seriously might want to consider triple pane. And again, that's the problem. Every time I consult with a client and I bring out this Energy Star map to show them the different zones and explain to them that what they're about to buy is more likely underkill and definitely not overkill, that's kind of when the light bulb goes on. But nobody else seems to be showing this map. They guess they just want you to believe everything they say instead of proving it by showing you what's needed for your particular climate. Anyway, I also find that most companies spend way too much time on glass. I can teach you more about glass in two to three minutes than most companies come out and they really play it up for 10, 15, 20 minutes and at the end you're still confused. Or you think you got it nailed down and then someone like me walks in and asks you a few questions that you can't answer but they spent 10 to 15 to 20 minutes on the glass teaching you absolutely nothing except general terms. That's another video I did on general or generic terms in the window industry. And one of the big ones is low E glass. Anyway, that's the tip of the day. I hope this helped. If you like my channel, please subscribe and uh, check out my website, windowpurchase.com. Thank you so much.